Yes, the roads are gritted. So we'll go inside for tomorrow. I'm on an early shift tomorrow as well. We'll see what uh, tomorrow brings. It's going to be icy and in the minus east of the hill. Just switch me here to grip something. Before turbine, oh, look at that, not lovely. You're not lovely. Down that road there, you can actually get to my term, and it's the old pack horse route, it's just rough ground and cobbles. It's where the old uh, traders used to load up all the mules and go over the hills to the next town. So I won't be going down there. That's a nice view, isn't it? All the hills, a little valley. Give that jogging lady a whistle. <laughs> It's a biting cold now. When spring on a spring, it's bleeding freezing. It's a play on there, I'm really close, I've not been up there for. 45 years. I must have a stroll around in uh, summertime. Cheaper than going to Blackpool. <laughs> uh, free walk in the countryside. We should all do more of that, shouldn't we? You have to spend money to have a good day out. <clears throat> Take a drink with you and something to eat. And there we are. And stop at a pub like this on the way back. That's something I should check my brakes in case we're going down. But like I said, I'm going to book a day off work and have a proper maintenance four days. Sort them crash boards out, remount my spotlights, rewire them, reroute one of the horns, 
because the wiring goes across and there won't be a cross beam once I've uh, sewn those lugs off <coughs> so I'll have to reroute the wiring on one of them maybe under the petrol tank and hopefully I won't have to remove it Well, this is recording number six, but I'll just rec uh, upload three of them, I think, because some of them went on a bit. One of them, uh, the learning rider on the main road, A59, uh, reversing his bike onto a farm track, so I turned around, went a mile back up the road, and there was nothing wrong, he just stopped for a fag. <laughs> I thought he might want to lift to the petrol station or something, but no. So that was a bit of a waste, wasted journey, although I'll always check and see if someone's alright. And talking of petrol, I think I'll go and fill up if it's open. Might not need it, but because I took the battery out and need for me to reset, I've no idea of you know, what we've got left. Is it open on a Sunday? At this time, yes, good. Oh, well, looks like he's. Oh no, he might have just close that because of the sunlight. <coughs> See what I've got left. Double skin gloves on him, still cold. So it'll be about 15 quid again. No, I've got a 20 there. That'll do. Reset. Reset. Yes. <coughs> I've just reached out and quite a way away from the pump. Come on, come on. Yeah, let's reset it, Dorpy. Right. Now I'm guessing 14 or 15 pounds. It's gone up slightly after the bargain price we've had for the past four months or so. I thought. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's have a look. 13, 32, quite 13.50. That'll do. Yeah, because I tend to keep in uh, fifth or six gears, you can economise that way, can't you? It's got the power to cope with, uh, you know, it's got the torque to cope. Hello, 13.50, thank you very much. No, sorry. Yeah, I could give you 3.50, want to say some change? Do you want the odd 3.50, yeah, thank you. Got fruit and veg, you've no broccoli, have you? No, uh, I'm going to do an omelette with broccoli. Alright, okay. 
<coughs> uh, I thought you'd get the broccoli challenging. I bet some places would say yes, how much do you, do you want? That'd be a shock, wouldn't it, if you had to buy some? I mean, we don't wait for this lad. soon. It's only once bright sunset. I might as well knock it off here actually. Bye for now.